Hello, my name is Cole Kochar and I'm a cloud solution architect at Microsoft. During this short video, we're going to look at Viva Learning's first party integration with SharePoint Online. This allows an organization to quickly and easily surface their own training content inside the Viva Learning app or from a Teams chat or channel tab. When we navigate to the Viva Learning homepage, we are presented with a number of ways we can consume training content. One way that I personally like is based upon a number of selected interests, which then surfaces suggested items from the resources I have access to. I can also view my learning by provider, which includes the third party content my company subscribes to, and also any SharePoint collateral that I've been given permission to access. In my example, all the SharePoint content is listed in the Contosa row. As you can see, the SharePoint training has an associated thumbnail and metadata that provides information such as the course title and duration. When I select the SharePoint content, I can share it with a person, group or channel in my organisation. Alternatively, I can recommend the training. I can also bookmark it and I can easily add it to my Outlook calendar. Or I can start the training and consume it from within Microsoft Teams. One of the recent integrations that's been added is the ability to link a URL within SharePoint. And in this example, when I select the Viva Goals card, I'm taken into YouTube to view the video. From a setup perspective, I configure my organization's third party learning providers and enable my SharePoint integration from the Microsoft 365 admin console. The SharePoint integration is actually very simple to create. After selecting the checkbox, I just need to add the link to the site that will host the Viva Learning Apps content repository list. In this example, my content repository has been created in the Consoso Learning site. As we can see, I've enabled two catalogues that store the training content I want to publish to Viva Learning. To simplify the demonstration, my two folders are actually on Contoso Learning, but they don't need to be. When I open the course catalogue, as well as files, you can see the additional columns of metadata. One of these includes the links to the associated thumbnail pictures used in the Viva Learning app. Once I've added my training content and configured the associated metadata, I then need to provide access for my Viva Learning users. This is simply done by configuring the access permissions associated with the content repositories in SharePoint.